favorite job in drywall. Wow, this is a, this is a project. Unboxing it. All right, I promised Jamie I would get these things buttoned up, so. First thing I'm gonna do is just take some zip ties, tie the, uh, the two sets of pipes hot and cold with each other, like they were before, and then start patching these holes. I want to show how I make patches like this. I've peeled back the paper and the paint about an inch on the wall. I'll do the same. I'll peel back the paper oh, look at Marie. on the patch. And then when I apply my tape around the perimeter, in theory, it should be on the same plane once I get the mud and, and tape in there. So I'm just going to do it two more times. I do that one and oh, there's Murray. Murray, what are you doing? Murray. Doesn't want to look at the camera. So let me get some tape and mud on these and at least the four, first coat of joint compound. First coat of mud and tape. All done. My favorite job. Sanding drywall. Look at all this stuff. Oh my god, look at this. It's just a mask on. A few days and three coats later, it's, it's ready to be primed and painted, so. That one's hard to see, white on white, but. Yeah, I think they're ready for, for primer and paint. called the eraser. Ooh. Erase your mistakes. Right there. Nice primer. <sighs> Helper extraordinaire. Right. Yep. He's like a supervisor. Why am I getting a coat of paint on this, right? <sighs> I should have picked a bigger brush. <laughs> that is tiny. It's tiny, I don't know what I was thinking. Paul cut this wall open originally to put, uh, run computer wire on the other side, that's our office. Um, so he made this for me because I saw it on Pinterest and I wanted one. So he made me a toilet paper holder slash trash can built into the wall, which I love, but now we need to paint around it. If we make any more, which I love this, it's in Sapili. I think that's how you pronounce it. So Peely Wood, this is the trash can. Just a bag hanging on a frame. Um, but so Peely Wood's great. The only problem is with toilet paper, as you roll it out, there's this like white dusty lint, which, well, some of this might be construction, but I think it leaves like a, a dust lint that's kind of annoying. So when we do one in the new bathroom upstairs, that will be painted white. So I taped around the edges with, I think frog tape is our favorite tape to paint with, but it could be scotch and we screwed up. I can't remember. We like one more than the other. How many coats of primer do we need? Uh, just one. Okay. 
Cut it pretty well. Can't see the line, can you, Russ? Nope. Jamie does all the details. <laughs> yep, looks good. Okay, we got the first coat on. We'll let it dry probably another hour or two and then put a second coat on and we're, we're done. All right, the second coat's on, so Jamie put the covers back on, hung everything back up, so we're done. The only thing we have to do is still paint the uh, all the white with some semi-gloss, but we'll do that later. Save that for a rainy day, but we can check this one off the list.
Murray's finally tired. Murray. Well, I only took, what, a mile and a half? Old versus new. Alright, to assemble this, someone wants to take this screw out, unplug it, and this unit should slide should slide that way off. So alright, took the screw out, unplugged it here. So let's see. Oh yep. Yeah. Yep, now we think we've mounted this adapter to our bracket and the ceiling. And I already took out the knockout for the wiring on the top. I think this sits on the bracket kind of like that. We'll screw this on and then I think the fan body slides up into this bracket. All right, it's up there uh, temporarily. Still need to wire it up. Uh, we'll do that pretty soon. And there are a couple of modules that go in here. There's a motion sensor and then a condensation sensor so and we're going to wire this directly in kind of bypassing a switch so you know i think that's part of the reason why the ceiling, ceilings look the way they did you know people would forget to turn the fan on so this thing in theory between the motion and the condensation sensor should should turn itself on and kind of take care of itself well here's a lesson I'm trying to put the screw in the adapter with the screw i took out and it doesn't line up. So I looked at the instructions again. The adapter should be, the lip should be on the bottom of this bracket. So I've got to take this out, readjust the adapter, and push this thing back up in again. All right, for now, we just put a piece of, I put a piece of cardboard over it to keep the dust out of it until we get the modules and everything else hooked up. So the next thing we're gonna work on, we've gotta build a two by four wall along here, along the back where the vanity is gonna go. Cause Jamie and I wanna do two uh, recessed built-in medicine cabinets. Uh, in order to do that, it would be a nightmare working with the existing wall that basically is adjacent to the other, the bathroom on the other side. We'd have, you know, we'd end up moving vent pipes again. So to make it easy or easier, we're just gonna put a two by four wall in along here. And then, uh, you know, we can frame out for the medicine cabinets on each side. No, no, I'm sorry, above the strapping. Yep, you're good. I mean, there's just yellow ones, but that's it. Just the yellow wire? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't cut that. Ooh, nice. Oh, I didn't, did I not get it all? I think you did. Hold on, Miss. Perfect. So Max is helping me remove some of the strapping before we, so we put this top plate in here. And he's on the last piece. Your favorite part, the nails. Wow, those are... I didn't want those to fall out. Perfect. All right, all done. The top plate's in. All right, I cut these holes a little bigger to get the uh, the pecs back into the tighter to the wall a little bit, and then we'll transfer those marks on the floor up onto this bottom plate so we can have them come through the bottom plate. So we have an even space here, factoring in you know a half an inch for the sheetrock. So and in the middle, and then on the left. So Jamie wants to put three wall sconce lights, uh, you know, on the left side of the mirrors in the middle, and then to the right. So We located these 3 8 supply lines through the bottom plate. I just have them come out through the wall, I guess. We need to wire up, put a switch in here. Uh, Jamie, like I said, she wants three sconces, one on the left, middle, and then the right. So we'll need to wire those up, frame up for the vanity cabinets. We got, we got one at an auction. Um, Online auction that got a, got a stole it. Yeah, we almost stole it. This one we bought on eBay. Um, it's new, but it's new. Box, yeah, and it's pretty well packed. And it matches the one we have. I yeah. hope. I think we'll find out. We hope. You're right. Yeah. Cool. All 
Oh, hopefully the mirror's intact. Got some priority mail envelopes if we need them. Wow. Holy cow. God, that thing's heavy. It is very heavy. It looks just like the old one. Yeah. Oh, like a glove. Wow. Wow. It does fit. Ooh. So we got a little wiggle room left to right, but not a ton. Quarter of an inch, I think, it left. Got all three um, boxes in for the wall sconces. So now I'm just starting to wire. We'll have a switch here, you know, hook the first sconce down to the next one and then terminate with this last wall sconce. And the actual, the medicine cabinets have outlets built in. So we'll grab power from this outlet, feed this, and then the, this one over here. There, so now I'll go along and tidy this up, put some staples in there. I need a metal plate here so I don't put a screw through it from the sheetrock. Put all the wiring roughed in. My plate's up there so I didn't accidentally put a I don't accidentally put a sheetrock screw through it. Got the wiring in for the mirrors, wall sconces. So the next thing I do, I'm gonna insulate this wall. But before I do that, because I wanna I want to sheetrock it today if I can. I've got to put a nailer along the, the top plate there so I can catch my, have something to attach my strapping to. All right, I spent the last few hours uh, building this over the toilet. Just adding in uh, more bracing, you know, framework to nail the sheetrock to on the other side. And since we're going to have a TV here. I put a little ledger board so I have something to fasten the TV to. And then I've got my box in here. I have to wire up an outlet. So we finished wiring up the outlet over there. Uh, we also got a, pieces, a few pieces of sheetrock up behind us. I uh, ran uh, insulation around the uh, water pipe stuff. What's that called? The PEX pipes? PEX right pipes, here. yes. This neat little foam stuff where you have to cut it and pull the tape off. and so, Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. I did that. If you've made it this far to our video, please like and subscribe to help us grow our YouTube channel. Thank yes. you. And thanks for watching. We'll thanks see you next time. Thanks for watching. Time. Bye.